Welcome back everyone to Yakuza. Now today we are still running around the city with Haruka and we've got some more side stories that we have to do here before continuing on with the plot. So let's head on over to to Bantam, the bar that replaced Bacchus. Hey, he looks familiar. Hey, little girl. You look like you're a boxing fan even though you're still young. Yeah, he's Jackal Yagasawa, number one in the bantamweight class. Do you like boxing? Yeah, we used to watch it at the Sunflower. Jackal's got a strong right cross. <laughs> you sure do know a lot. You know, they say his right arm can reach Mach 1. Really? Hey, mister, can I go ask him to shake my hand? <laughs> sure. Hi, Mr. Jackal. Ah. I'm a big fan of yours. Can I shake your hand? Shut <laughs> up, you little brat. Hmm. What does she know? Runt. Yeah, boxing champ or not, this guy's going down. So, as you might expect, he fights using the boxing style. And he is kinda tough, as you might also expect. Really quick on his feet, punches pretty hard, and... Well, basically, what you would expect from from someone of his skill set, and we're not really starting off of particularly great. I mean, I could just just clobber him with the with the beer crates, but but you know, we're gonna do this do this properly. You know, mano a mano. Because we wanna teach this punk a lesson. Well, we will try to teach him a lesson as soon as he stops punching us. But yeah, once you start getting in those punches, yeah, this will not take long. Even if he does get a couple of combos in. Well, this isn't really something that would be would be allowed in a boxing ring, but you know, this is a street fight and and anything goes. It's like the final fight of Rocky V. And I apologize for reminding you of that film. Oh, the bartender was also watching the fight. Well, considering that we use a lot of a lot of martial arts kicks and throws, that really doesn't doesn't seem very boxer like, but you know. Yeah, a 
I thought I finally had a chance. If that's so, why are you drinking yourself stupid? It doesn't matter. I can't change the outcome of the match, no matter what I do. Huh? What are you saying? I'm sorry I yelled at you earlier, little girl. But I can't meet your expectations. I'm gonna... lose tomorrow. What? You mean... Mr. Jackal? I believe in you. I know you're strong. The Jackal never loses. I'll be rooting for you, promise. Good luck! Well, I mean, obviously there is some... Some sort of arrangement in place that we might be able to find out more about. So yeah, that's obviously not a not a great situation for every for anyone involved. And yeah, it would make sense that they would track him down pretty easily. Well, I guess that is where we are headed now. And of course we're gonna help. Oh, they got a code word and everything, so... Yeah, they're, they're doing this properly. Well, I guess we'll go check out that Mahjong parlor. And it's right here in this alleyway, close to the pawn shop. I don't think you can actually play Mahjong in Yakuza 1. Don't leave me behind.
And yeah, the Yakuza are of course going to make a whole whole lot of bank if they their plan is allowed to succeed, but we are not going to have any of that of course. Nothing personal, but I'm going to beat your ass. Prepare to die! So Sawada here has a couple of health bars, nothing too major, at least if we could hit him with a chair that would be quite nice. But yeah, there's a whole bunch of items here that we can use, use against him, so this is not really a problem at all. I'm not really sure how just beating up this guy is going to going to stop the Yakuza scheme, but never mind. Sir! Hey, Mr. Bartender. He's not gonna have to take the dive in tomorrow's match now. Thank you very much! How can I ever pay you back? <laughs> You're welcome. Now, why don't you call up the Jackal? Y yes sir! Good work, mister. I can't wait to see tomorrow's match. Yeah. Don't worry. Yeah, I'm really not quite sure how that is going to stop the plan, but... Ouch. And here's the kid that we met earlier in front of Purgatory, or the Purgatory entrance, and... And yes, Kiryu says we gave him some food. Yeah, I think he actually does stand here all the time. Well, let's see here. Now I thought I bought him some actual food, but that was actually on a different save. But at least the HP supplement still works, so oh, so yeah. That's good. Thanks, mister. I'm really glad he got something to eat. Yeah. So, did you have enough to eat there, pal? Yeah, my mom will be back in a few hours, so I'll be Okay. Uh, huh? Uh, what's wrong? Hey, are you alright? Hey! What are we gonna do? I don't think it's food poisoning. Haruka, let's find this kid a doctor, fast. Okay. Don't leave me behind. So we are now on a timer. The blue bar on the right of the screen is of course the kid's health. And if that goes all the way down, he will die, 
but we will not let it go get all the way to that. And I actually know perfectly well, well where we are supposed to be going, but... But yeah, I suppose we'll ask this guy if he knows anything. Yeah, I don't remember if you can actually get to Dr. Enomoto's clinic before you talk to this guy and find out its location. I would assume that you could just kinda... Yes, thank you, that is what I'm doing. I figured that you can probably just go straight here, but... But eh. Be still. Hey, this boy needs some medical attention. Can you help us out? Hey, where are you going? Be quiet. Okay, let me see here. He said he had a stomach ache and he just collapsed. We don't have a second to lose. He'll have to have emergency surgery. What? You mean cut him open? Hey, what about him? Hey! Hey, Ali! You okay? The doctor's unfair! Uh, 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 He's a racist! Uh, uh, what? They came after we did, but they are getting treated first. The doctor just ignored uh, Ali. Uh, 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 Ali! Ali! Shit! Can't you see I'm operating? Get out of here. You! You let my brother die. You're gonna pay for that. Shut up and get out. Fuck you. My brother is dead. I'm gonna fucking kill you. If you kill him, you kill the kid too. That's not gonna happen. Okay, if that's what you want, I'll kill you too. Okay, yeah, I'm not entirely sure if Dr. Enomoto's customer service skills are quite up to the task here. Also, Ali seems to have disappeared off the bed. But never mind that. But yeah, welcome to one of the one of the tougher fights in this game. Or at least this part of the game. Because we are fighting a boxer and a kickboxer in a small room and they can pretty much air juggle you as you saw right there and I think this fight is even worse in Kiwami because in that game they also have a lot more health than they have here so so yeah it is not great And of course their moves have priority over ours, so... So my dropkick just got completely eaten. Yeah, these guys really don't screw around. Of course grabbing them helps a little bit. And there's plenty of stuff we can use to, well, beat them up if, of course, we can stop being air juggled. But at least we got rid of the, the other brother and here goes the second one. And that wasn't too bad overall, I suppose. Oh, damn. Is the surgery over yet? Phew. Yeah, it's over. 
I had to perform an appendectomy. It could have burst at any moment. You got him here just in time. I promise you, one day, I will kill you. You still here? You motherfucker! You killed my brother! What the? Huh? What? All he had was a kidney stone. He was trying to pass it. Kidney stone? Yeah. It hurts like hell. But once the stone makes its way to the bladder, the pain is gone. He just lost consciousness. Thank you for everything. Thank you, doctor. Hmm, doctor. I haven't been called doctor for a long time. How long does he have to stay here? About two to three days. Kids heal fast, you know. But isn't his mother waiting for him? Well, I'll find out where she works and let her know. You stay here for a while, and don't hang around that kind of place anymore. Don't worry about it. I'm sure he just likes waiting for his mother. Right, kid? Yeah. It doesn't matter if it's an adult or a child. There are tons of people in this city that live hard lives. But everyone is trying to make it through the day the best they can. That's why I love this city. Uh. I see. That's why they need a doctor like you around. That's right. I don't discriminate against any patients. If someone needs help, I'm here for them. It's that simple. Well, I'll be on my way then. All right. So how much is the bill, Doc? Ah, uh, don't worry about it. I have some pretty big backers. I see. Hmm. Anyway. Thanks for everything. Still, your boss is very benevolent. Our boss is a big fan of yours ever since you were a director at Toto Medical University. I see. Well, I've never met him before, but can you please thank Fumasan for me? I will. Fumasan, eh? Also, I can't help but think that Dr. Enomoto there could have well, we could have avoided a lot of stuff if Dr. Enomoto had just told all his bro brothers that that he was just passing a kidney stone instead of literally dying. But, you know, details. Anyway, we unlock the giant swing, which is actually a surprisingly difficult grab move to do, because at least when I play, I always kind of push the analog stick towards the enemy that I want to kind of throw the throw the opponent at and so I usually just do the regular throw move instead of the giant swing but I'll show that off at some point for now I'll call it an episode and next time we will go do some more side quests to wrap up this chapter <laughs>